Which your city, your team, which the Premier League. On you go, John. <laughs> After uh, all, it's your uh, show. Yes, I do. It's not. Uh, well, so 100%, 100% LCFCs. LCFCs. Well, we're going to talk about Bournemouth now on Saturday away. Yeah. Obviously, they'll be buoyed big time by that win over West Ham at West Ham as well, 4-3. Absolutely, John. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, maybe a wee bit concerned that they went 2-0 down. Um, and I look at the game as well. Are West Ham any good? I don't really think so. I mean, we've made them look second best. Bournemouth have gone there and won. So the alarm bells will be ringing for West Ham because I think they go to Anfield on Saturday. Um, I don't know if they're, uh, they're involved tonight. They will be probably. But um, Bournemouth, tight little ground, lovely little ground, smashing part of the country, lovely people. But it's a game that Leicester City, as we are, and the way we've been playing and the players we have, we should be going there thinking three points, definitely. Yeah, but Bournemouth, obviously, first goals they've scored in the top flight. It's a big season for them because it's, it's all new territory for them, isn't it? It's a huge season, John. I mean, in their history, I don't think they've been in the Premiership or the First Division ever. No. So, um, fair play to the manager. I can listen to that boy all day. I've got Eddie Howe. I've got a great deal of respect for him. He talks an awful lot of sense. He's only a young man as well. So, fair play to him. But we are better than Bournemouth. We have far better players than uh, in our squad um, that will go out to, to, to Bournemouth and beat them. And what sort of side do you think that uh, Ranieri might put out? Or do you think he'll tweak it a little bit or not? Well, we're talking uh, just before the Berry match as well, John, here. So he'll be making a lot of changes up at, uh, up at Gig Lane. Um, lots of players that haven't had any minutes will be going in up there. But I would think it's going to be pretty much the same team uh, for the league matches that's going to turn up at, uh, at Bournemouth. And Danny Drinkwater's having a bit of a run, obviously, as well. We didn't see that much of him towards the back end of last season, so he'll be pleased with that, won't he? I think they all are, John. You know, Richie Delat as well, Danny, Andy King. You know, they, they've kept their places. Wes Morgan kept his place. Robert Huth, inspirational uh, player at the back. Um, and Jamie up front. It's... Um, it's, it's the little Japanese boy that's exciting me as well as, as uh, Mares. I mean, the, the pace that we've got up there is, is, is amazing. And it's frightening defences. And I'm uh, quite sure when the Arsenals and the Man Uniteds and all that lot turn up, our two front players and our two wide players are going to give them some frights as well. I was talking to a fan after the Spurs game who said he'd try to get a ticket you know, to go to Bournemouth. I, I, I suppose getting tickets for away games is... It's almost as difficult as getting a ticket to go to and watch your team at home, isn't it? It's all moment? over social media, John. <laughs> yeah, it is. They're all yeah. one. Anybody got a ticket, please? Yeah. Anybody got a ticket? Um, but it's a shame. You know, you can, there's only so many people can go there. And, um, but those that go, enjoy it. Have a safe trip. There's a lot of people that I know are going overnight. and that's, that's, That must be a great trip. Overnight, a few bevies, watch the game, three points and back up the road. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, so what do you think about Saturday, score-wise? Saturday, um, I think it'll be fairly tight. So I'll maybe go for a 1-0. That'll be good. Okay, thanks very much uh, for tuning in to LCFC. And uh, let's hope uh, for another three points on Saturday. I'm sure there will be another three points, won't there, Alan? You've already asked me that. I know. 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> it's your city, your team, Wisdom Premier League. Thank you.